Good morning, this is Federico from Yondo Markets giving you this morning's market update. This morning we start by looking at European markets for the UK 100 rolling is almost flat this morning. The France 40 rolling is almost 20 points lower and the Germany 30 rolling is almost around 75 points lower in this morning's trading. Looking at the pharmaceutical industry, Sir Andrew Whitty is standing down as chief executive of pharma giant the GlaxoSmithKline after nearly a decade at the helm. The group has revealed this morning. Whitty will retire on 31st of March 2017, giving the group time to search for its successor. GSK said it would consider internal and external candidates for the role. Investors seemed unfazed by the change at the top. GSK's shares prices up 0.4% on the open. Elsewhere, Ted Baker raises a dividend 18.6% as profits jumped 20% group revenue. Also rose 17.7% to £456.2 million in the 52 weeks ended 30. 30th of January, up from £387.6 million a year earlier. Pre-tax profit jumped 20.3% to £58.7 million during this period, up from £48.8 million in the year to January 2015. This was helped by e-commerce sales, which swelled 45.8% to £53.5 million, up from £36.7 million. The board also hiked Ted Baker's dividend 18.6% to 47.8p, up from 40.3p. Investors will also be watching the Bank of England, which is expected to hold interest rates today. However, they will look to the minutes from the Monetary Policy Committee's, Committee's meeting for insight into its thinking. Yesterday, economist accused Chancellor George Osborne of ducking tough decisions and deficit reduction in favour of generous giveaways in his budget. Growth and productivity forecasts were downgraded, leaving a gaping hole in the Treasury's balance sheet but he was not deterred from handing out tax cuts for workers, savers, small businesses and en energy companies. Meanwhile, the US Fed held interest rates and indicated that moderate US economic growth and strong job gains would allow it to tighten policy this year. It released fresh projections showing policymakers expected two quarter point hikes by the year's end, half the number seen in December. Now for some key data and focus we have at 10 a.m. the EU the Consumer Price Index, and at 12 p.m. the UK Bank of England interest rate decision and minutes, and over in the US at 12.30 p.m. we have the initial jobless claims for March. That's all for today's news, so thank you very much for listening and all the best in your day's trading.